Hello everyone and now welcome to a game, Meteor vs. Gens, this game taking place here on La Lost Temple LV. At the 12 o'clock position, we have Meteor spawning as the purple human and um, opening things up with an Archmage. Meanwhile, Jens opening things up with a Demon Hunter and spawning here at the 3 o'clock spot. So it is going to be close spawns for the human. Um, any units trying to reinforce will be able to get there quickly here on the map. No cross spawns. And really, the spawning on this map changes the dynamics of this game a lot because there are so many units in the center portion of that lost temple. Trying to attack during the day before this creep camp is cleared is usually, well, just a suicidal. Um, you're not going to be able to get your units rallied to you easily. And if they are rallied to you, well, they end up taking a lot of damage trying to pass through the center. Archmage does get to level 2. Lost Temple, oldie but goodie. We can see that there are, well, 13 or 15 workers. And um, so we could eventually see some sort of expansion attempt. Yes, there it is. There's the scout tower already being placed down. And then perhaps the uh, town hall here trying to add a little bit of coverage. Meanwhile, Footman is also going to try and get to, to this tree of life. And this is what I meant by well unfortunate spawns spawning locations for meteor meteor has to travel much further with his units to try and shut down this tree of life meanwhile the demon hunter is already here and is already attacking with a bit of immolation the peasants are trying to get away but they're not going to be able to do that easily you can see that peasant is slipping back and forth and around perhaps going to jump inside the gold mine and now militia are being called over to try and take down this demon hunter with that immolation well and we know standing next to that a demon hunter is hazardous to your health as much of his mana is now gone however once that um, well turning on and off of that immolation does take quite a bit of mana as we're looking off on the southern side here archmage is trying to shut things down against the archers the tree of life was stopped and now the demon hunter has to deal with this lone outpost arcane tower at, at now that he's down to zero mana back across on the other side here well footman trying to knock down the moon well before the moon well and um, can well, collect too much moon juice here militia are being called over there's a little bit of that feedback damage not much feedback since the demon hunter is already low on mana and one moon well is going to get taken down 30 over 30 supply if a second moon well is taken down well more importantly the moon juice is going to be lost archers are trying to come over to try and protect here is that archer going to get some uh, yes going to be able to heal up there's two very low hit point water elementals there goes one there goes the other demon hunter now perhaps going to be closer to level three does pick up well i think he was trying to pick up a dust of appearance or something else but it doesn't look well all right there goes another moon well gone and well Jens is going to be in a very strange position. Jens trying to double back around, perhaps trying to pick up something from the shop here as a southern position, trying to um, build a, a tree of life gets scouted out by the map. All right, so unfortunate tree of life getting shut down there, a little bit more cal um, cancellations as we are looking at Meteor, now setting up the 12 o'clock expansion location. All right, two new moon wells are, are, are still operational, sitting at 27 over 30 supply. Footmen are coming over to knock down those moon wells again. And well, moon well management is always a thing, especially if your opponent is just constantly trying to take them down. Archmage is still sitting at level um, two here. Is he going to get some more damage? There's that staff of teleportation inbound. Demon Hunter drains all of that and mana moon well again. And then now we're going to look at uh, perhaps this moon well about to be finished off another moon while trying to be placed down instead and at this point it almost doesn't make sense to try and repair as well if you are trying to repair you're actually going to get less moon moon juice out of the um, out of the moon i guess as the moon wells are and um, when they are built start with a hundred moon juice all right, coming back around here, Demon Hunter going after the Archmage. Archmage could be in a little bit of trouble. There's just some constant, constant attacking going back and forth. Archmage down to 82, supply 57, finally says, you know what, I have overstayed my welcome. And what does Meteor realize behind this? He doesn't have an Arcane Vault. Speed building an Arcane Vault is going to be important. All those units need to move. There you go. There's the speed building of the Arcane Vault as the Archmage needs to heal up, heal up quickly, and then venture forth again. Perhaps some repairs also onto this Arcane Tower. As the Tree of Life in the southern position, well, 
is going to get completed and perhaps act as a little bit of a tank. Demon Hunter does sit at level 3. Level 2 Immolation, very short-lived as that Arcane Tower feeds back that damage. Panda sitting, uh, Panda getting hired up, and that level 1 Panda perhaps going to be able to go get some Breaths of Fire and help clear out this bottom left-hand side of the map and set up a, a, a bit of a ninja a secret base in the southern portion, making Meteor think that, well, he's ahead economically when in fact he is just on even footing. All right, Panda looking to clear up some easy creep camps here. Tree of Life making the slow trek over to that southern expansion location at the 7 o'clock spot as the Archmage um, looked, looking to perhaps buy boots of speed and a staff of teleportation. Taking a boot to the head there could be in a little bit of trouble. Is he going to be able to back away or heal up? There's dropping a Water Elemental and perhaps going after those Forest Troll Berserkers. The Forest Troll Berserkers now heading back over and this Archmage could... Ooh, takes another boulder to the head down to 24 hit points playing a very very dangerous game if there's another boulder um, there's a scroll of healing used right there and well i guess that's his way of trying to stay on top of things there's another water elemental coming across panda clearing out the bottom left hand side as i expected archmage does have an onk of reincarnation so um, has a little bit more well life to give here and needs to really finish off this forest troll high priest taking that down and then finally this last forest troll berserker tome of knowledge will be dropped as well meanwhile demon hunters trying to play the same game over and over but with only one arcane tower that demon hunter um can just outlast with his hit points and trying to take down some of those peasants blacksmith is down there goes another second arcane tower over a l over a guard tower as the lumber mill was not yet done a demon hunter trying to chase after that archmage ancient of wonders off over here going to get destroyed as well as Jens is sitting at 36 over 40 supply, very low on Moonwells, but does have this additional entangled gold mine in the bottom left hand side of the map. All right. Now, this is going to be a situation where um, I'm, I'm thinking Jens wants to clear out this Fountain of Health. Um, normally, well, normally Nidals have the opportunity to, clear, um, to regenerate hit points at home under the cover of night. You can see all of that Moonwell juice being used as it is. Demon Hunter, Potion of Invulnerability onto the Archmage. Demon Hunter going to be forced to retreat all the way back. And well, a Meteor is just destroying Moonwell after Moonwell, forcing his opponent to um, constantly be supply block. There's going to be another one getting taken out here. Meanwhile, in the center portion of the map, the Demon Hunter wants to be able to heal. I think you can stand on certain squares and not actually get aggroed as the Wisps are now trying to retreat back again. Another Archmage Water Elemental abolish magic being researched because he is upside down on supply. Archmage could be in trouble. Oh, the detected Tree of Eternity and meant that the Tree of the Ages didn't get in an attack there. All right, Wisps are trying to hide inside uh, and some are getting taken out. We're playing a game of whack-a-mole inside that entangled gold mine here. Archmage, well, does take a little bit of damage from that there. Finally needing a scroll of Town Portal. Level three now on the Brewmaster. Footmen, are they all going to get whisked away? Yes, they will. Demon Hunter is healing off on the corner here. We are looking at a Blood Mage as that second hero. We are tucking the Tier 3 dual guard towers already up. No masonry upgrade. And going up for a second Barracks and an Arcane Sanctum. All right. Um, at this point and stage in the game, normally, um, I would say... A rifle caster against Night Elf works well, but it looks more like Meteor is going to try and transition into Knights. Um, knights with perhaps Priest. Um, we'll keep a, a close eye on that as the Brewmaster is well clearing out this Null Assassin Creek camp. Demon Hunter needs to get closer to that Fountain of Health. Yeah, was down to about into the 20s in terms of hit points, but finally sticking around, going to be able to stay alive and now finish off this Null Overseer here. If at first you succeed, try, try again, and that's exactly what Meteor is attempting to do. 
continuing to put pressure onto these buildings. All right, this Ancient of Wonder is going to get destroyed before it gets any real armor, and then perhaps we are going to see that happen again. We're seeing that 35 over 50 supply uh, mana just getting dumped into the Archmage as the Demon Hunter, well, going to go straight after that Archmage again. We could be looking at another Moonwell getting taken down. There's Siphon Mana, but really needed to Siphon Mana off of the Panda. Panda, Archmage, down to 16 hit points, able to survive. Burns another Scroll of Town Portal to head away. There's an Abolish Magic onto that Water Elemental there. All right, sitting at 40 over 40 supply compared to 50 over 76. Now Meteor breaking into low upkeep, getting Knights as well. Perhaps needs to get some Priests. Needs to get also the Advanced Lumber Harvesting. I um, Staff of Sanctuary onto the Archmage. Paladin going to be that third and final hero. And th Does he have the Improved Lumber Harvesting? A player's forces are under it attack. does. Yep, no, he does not. All right. Does not have the Improved Lumber Harvesting. There goes a Wisp that's been scouting out for so long. All right. Down to the southern portion of the map. Gens sitting at 39 over 40 supply, but sitting on a large amount of gold. 1,600 gold in the bank. Not that much gold, not that much lumber. So a little bit resource limited by lumber. Meteor, um, on the other hand, sitting at 66 over 76 supply, has a much larger army and, well, but is falling behind in terms of the hero level race. Gens with dual level 4 heroes and also clearing out some of these big red creep camps on the map, picking up some very powerful items. Medallion of Courage, Strength and Intelligence, that Brewmaster now having even more mana and that only bodes uh, well. Um, if he can continue to just um, hold on to that mana. Are we going to see Siphon Mana here? Yes, we are. Siphon Mana against. There's a Breath of Fire. Brewmaster trying to retreat back away. Meanwhile, Dryads are about to engage. There's some Scroll of Regeneration. There's some Siphon Mana. Demon Hunter pretty much out of mana instantaneously. We do see, I believe there was a Staff of Sanctuary on the Blood Mage. Is the Blood Mage going to save any of these units? No, he's actually just going to destroy one of his own. We are sitting at um, no Animal War Training on those knights. It is currently getting researched as the Archmage. Is he going to Tome of Retrain? No, uh, picking up, selling, transferring all of these items differently um, as the Water Elementals are just going to become a liability against these Dryads. The Dryads have decent amount of mana and are continuing to reinforce. Knights now trying to come across here. There's some more Siphon mana. Brewmaster tries to burn some of that mana quickly as we're going to see a Knight perhaps get Staff of Sanctuary home. Yes, he does. Down to, well, 50 hit points and being able to retreat back home. Meanwhile, Demon Hunter going to get surrounded. He's in a tough, tough spot. Does have a Potion of Invulnerability, though. So he's currently fighting back against all of these units. Potion of Invulnerability was, I guess, the long, or was the long enough variety as both heroes are now out of mana. All right, Dryad's going after the Militia. Militia buying time. What is the Knights of Meteor doing? They're saying, you know what? There, ha there has never been a building I didn't want to try and take down. And that's exactly what's happening here. The Knights are trying to take down some of these buildings again. Main or Expansion Gold Mines have about, well, 12 minutes of mining left and 15 as the Ancient of Lore absolutely taking a beating here. All right. Perhaps a Goblin Shredder needs to be trained up. There's a Holy Light. There's a Siphon Mana. Dryad's abolishing down that unit there as we're still looking at perhaps important buildings getting shut down here. A quick use of the Moonstone again. A Demon Hunter trying to make its way back around. We're going to see this Altar of Elders perhaps get taken down as the Blood Mage is just playing a game of mana here, trying to keep everything alive. Is the Blood Mage going to be able to stay alive? Yes, he is. There's another Holy Light there as both sides are just destroying buildings. Siphon mana into the Paladin now. Paladin is going to continue to, well, burst heal up the Blood Mage. So really not even going for Priests, as I originally thought, just using the Paladin as the main healer here, as this Knight down to, well, down to 119 hit points. All of that damage done, only to see it get teleported back home pretty much, the, um, pretty much when you were in range of taking it out. All right.
minute cooldown, so better th uh, longer than the, I believe the 30 second cooldown on the staff of preservation. Spellbreakers are going to be able to push back the brewmasters, so the spellbreakers are there to help handle the panda and that breath of fire. Meanwhile, the paladin is still in a little bit of trouble, um, down to 307 hit points. That tree of eternity taking and dishing out so much damage. Meteor's got to believe that he's in the lead in this game here, as well. Some of uh, some, if you just look at the map, the main base is going to be gone. A tree of eternity, a tr of eternity, gonna be lost now, and it, now the paladin's going to be working to try and finish up and clear up all of, um, well, all of these wisps in the backfield. Mass detonation onto the paladin. Paladin, after all this time, though, still sitting at level one, level three, level two, level one on the human heroes compared to a level four and a level four demon hunter panda staff of sanctuary still sending more low hit point units back home panda uh, regenerating some hit points here and uh, by this healing ward and well jens is trying to figure out what he wants to do next Water Elemental making a splash over here on the bottom right-hand side of the map. Well, Jens has trained up a bunch of Ancients of Lore. There's that Goblin Shredder that I mentioned earlier perhaps needed um, in order to be able to get enough lumber to really, um, really keep this party going. Meanwhile, Knights are attempting to take down this Tree of Life here. Tree of Life suffering l quite a large amount of damage. There's some repairs, but that's not going to be enough. The Knights with 2-2 two, two upgrades just acting so, so strong strong as well no easy way to pick off any of these units though especially without any sort of stun no stunning ability no slow so the faster moving night elf units are able to get away easily now meteor is actually what well, well, was in high upkeep for a split second how come i don't hear any game sounds oh my goodness did, did my kids adjust the volume there you go All right, Brewmaster now trying to retreat back here. Dryad getting taken down. Panda trying to fight over here at the Fountain of Health, but those knights also have extremely high hit points and also higher armor, meaning that each effective hit point on the knight is actually higher than on that Brewmaster, especially as you account for regeneration from that Fountain of Health. Off over here on the bottom right-hand side of the map, perhaps he's going to try and clear out another ma another location. We can see that there's three minutes of mining here and about eight minutes of mining off to the north. This location has about 11 as the flying machines quickly fly overhead and have scouted out, well, this secret outpost that is really no longer an outpost but the main base of gens. All right. We're talking about cross spawns and how important it is in order to have a fair fight in Warcraft 3 Lost Temple. And Jens apparently believes that to be the case, setting up now cross spawns going north and south, even though the entire map has pretty much been cleared of creeps. Panda um, could get very close to level 6 here. Demon Hunter purposely backed away. I think the panda is going to be just shy. Yeah needs 18 more experience as the knights now diving down here staff of teleportation inbound drew to the claw has mastery training and are they gonna perhaps try and fight and engage here here we are here we go and um, knight's gonna try dryads in that front line spot moonwell's gonna get destroyed spellbreakers as the panda wants to get some drunken haze breath of fire off pretty much a stationary the blood mage is saying thank you for your mana and now the blood mage perhaps needs to find ways to perhaps start banishing down these bears to remove them from the battle. All right, scroll of healing used there. Holy light. I think the Paladin still only sitting at level 2. Doesn't have any big heals yet. Demon Hunter needs to try to find a way to heal. Druids of the Claw need to well turn into their Druid form and give a rejuvenation onto the Demon Hunter there as we see a Staff of Preservation saving that front line. Fighting during the Nightfall with inside a Night Elf base with a, well, healing wards and moon wells. This is a battle that should be won by Jens uh, just positionally. But it looks like the, the size of the army of Meteor it may be able to come out ahead. Panda sitting at level 6, starting to run out of mana because of that Blood Mage. 
even though we have higher level heroes here. All right, Broodmaster down to zero mana. There's another staff of Sanctuary sending a unit back home. Demon Hunter perhaps going to try and finish off a Spellbreaker, unable to do that as a Knight does get taken down. Demon Hunter sitting at five and a half. Broodmaster sitting at about five and a half as well. Both sides continuing to fight, perhaps going to finish off some of these um, other units here. There goes one Spellbreaker. There goes another Spellbreaker. Banishes down. Dryads are playing a game of keep away from the Knights. And well, with the superior numbers, the Dryads are actually using their range attack very well. 58 supply compared to 64. There goes another Knight. Another Knight is about to get taken down. And now the Archmage finally realizes how strong Jen's armies is. Back at the north, we see one Knight under Staff of Sanctuary. Perhaps more um, Staff of Sanctuaries need to be purchased in order to uh, keep those low hit point units. Re-establishing this base here at the 3 o'clock spot trying to set up another ninja expansion that you just simply would not expect. Jens is on two bases trying to go up against two, but these gold mines off to the north, well, have run out. One gold mine left here, about five minutes of mining, and this is where, well, Meteor is going to try and perhaps close out the game, be and otherwise he's going to find himself behind the ball economically even though he's thought he's been ahead for quite a while. Ma massacred those knights. Double level six could break human. Yeah, double level six um, could make a very big difference. But remember, level six can only be achieved by taking down your opponent. This is the perfect opportunity for the Archmage, Paladin, and Blood Mage to clear out creeps. They're able to catch up in the experience race, um, a race that they, they well, kind of let get away from them. So if the Paladin can get to level 3, the Archmage can get to level 5, and the Blood Mage perhaps retrains to Flame Strike at level 4 um, over Banish, suddenly his Spellbreakers can stand in a Flame Strike while the Bears are just taking large, large, massive amounts of damage. That still doesn't seem to be the case yet. Spellbreakers, Knight's going to try and engage. There's some Mortar Teams. Um, well, Mortar Team rounds coming across. Demon Hunter with Boots of Speed trying to duck, dodge, dive, and weave through those Knights, able to do exactly that. All right, Dryads in the bottom corner here. Ancient of War is right there. Panda now trying to make its way over. Are we going to see a Staff of Teleportation inbound? No, we do not. No Staff of Teleportation inbound for the Demon Hunter. So the Brewmaster is going to try and clear this out himself, going after some of these targets. All right, Granite Golem could use a Slam, but that's not really the most effective use there. Dryads are coming back across here. You can see that the Red Drakes are taking quite a bit of damage and going back and forth. Demon Hunter going to find a Spellbreaker, perhaps chase it down, finish it off. The Demon Hunter trying to slowly chip away at the Spellbreaker's hit points and perhaps get to level 6. Going to be a bit shy though. Meanwhile, as I mentioned, the Blood um, Paladin now sitting at level 3. Archmage getting very close to level 5. And the Blood Mage getting very close to level 4. Important level ups around as the Tree of Life has been reestablished here at the 3 o'clock spot. Flying machines overhead, gonna try and scout out, gonna spot that there is in fact uh, a possible expo on the bottom right hand side of the map. Archmage with plus 17 attack on that, on his auto attack here. Um, dangerously low hit points though, with only 675. I guess he doesn't have to worry about, well, Death Coil, Frost Novas, or direct hero nuking damage. Dryads ready to push across in. Brewmaster sitting there. We see an Ice Shard as well. Oh, Mass Mortar teams are going to be the counter to the Dryad. Are we going to see a Drunken Haze Breath of Fire onto that back line? We are not. That's really what the uh, the Brewmaster needs to do. Okay, Ice Shards also, uh, this Ice Revenant unit also gives Vampiric Aura as um, you're going to be looking at the Mortar teams being able to well, decim or destroy all of the Altar of Elders and buildings very quickly. Drunken Haze, Breath of Fire, trying to go across multiple units. Is that going to be enough Scroll of Healing used to try and counteract already? Demon Hunter continuing to engage. Brewmaster no longer has any mana. There's some Holy Light trying to save some units. Dryads are trying to dance away. So, 
complete tech change around as the panda trying to finish things up. Level 6 now onto the Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter, is he going to go for Metamorphosis? No, he's going to get banished. Brewmaster stays alive at 13 hit points using a potion of invulnerability at just the last moment again as the Brewmaster trying to get away. What is going down here? Demon Hunter sitting at level 6 without mana has Metamorphosis but doesn't have the mana to transform as we see a teleport out. All right, teleport back home. Moonwell Juice. I'm going to get a little bit more. Demon Hunter should just transform and then use that ranged chaos damage. He's going to get banished a little bit. There's some siphon mana. Brewmaster is trying to make it to the back line. Can he get to Drunken Haze? Breath of Firing all those guys. There we go. Those mortar teams could get burned down. Another scroll of healing used as the Dryads are trying to jump up on the high ground. All right, a bunch of Druids of the Claw come out of the uh, tree Ancient of Lore in their Druid form and quickly get taken out as the they do not have enough hit points and haven't been using their rejuvenation. So that's just going to continue to feed more experience to the human side as well as the Blood Mage sits at level 4. Archmage sits at level 5. Demon Hunter constantly getting banished. And what an interesting way of dealing with the Metamorphosis. Just saying, no, you do not belong here. Goodbye. The, demon, uh, the Blood Mage just constantly banishing the, the Demon Hunter and making him unable to use any Metamorphosis. Earth, Storm, and Fire now out onto the battlefield here. Cyclone picking up the Blood Mage. All right, dual level six heroes pushing back here. Knights, Earthstorm, and Fire continuing the battle. Demon Hunter trying to finish things off. 49 supply compared to 74. Meteor, obviously, with a larger supply advantage, trying to close things out while Jens has the larger heroes, um, uh, hero levels. All right, Staff of Preservation still trying to save some units there. I believe that was a low hit point knight. Earth continuing to taunt more targets. Earth going to get taken down. Fire is still alive. I believe Fire is the last um, one left here. And then you will, we will be seeing once more the... Uh, um, well, we, we will be seeing the Panda come back. Panda down to 123 hit points. Panda falls. Panda. Er, fire, when you are down to your last Panda, you do not throw him back into the battle. He doesn't have the hero armor type. He is a little bit more fragile. And with that... The panda falls at level 6 while in Earth, Storm, and Fire. All right. Meanwhile, back to the southern side here. A single mortar team has found this Tree of Life. Uh, perhaps, yes, some repairs are underway. Demon Hunter now trying to retreat back here. 75 supply compared to 49. Demon Hunter, is he going to try to dive in? Anti-Magic Shell going to go straight after the Mortar teams and just trying to finish them off, but unable to do so because, well, Staff of Sanctuary and Holy Light. The Demon Hunter really wants to go after these targets. Yes. Okay. I uh, don't know how to fix it right now. Make something else. Figure it out. Actually, hold on. Uh, pause the recording. All right, microwave wasn't broken. <laughs> Just like, have you tried turning it on? Oh, it turns on. Train of thought gone, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, Tree of Eternity, you're gonna get taken down here. Only two, or only two minutes of mining left here. All of these moon wells will get destroyed once more. It is now looking at four bases though, compared to one operational base for Meteor. After all of this is said and done, Jens is still sitting on a very large economy. Archmage is sitting at level 5. Blood Mage is about to get to level 5 as well. Um, if they perhaps tilt down a wisp, or maybe that would be hilarious if the Ancient of Wonders um, actually gives level 5 as well. Is it gonna, does it give enough experience? No. Oh, uh, nope. The Ancient of Wind. I'm fi finally catching a live stream after watching on YouTube for a long time. Thank you, P.S. My kids really like watching as well. Uh, yeah, my kids really like watching as well, especially when I'm casting, when they should be getting, uh, when they're when they should be getting ready in the morning. All right, Blood Mage is uh, alive and well. Gold still getting extract extracted here. Siege engines now being brought over. So Jen's going to be losing um, many of these ancients here as the Tree of Life is trying to fight back here. Brewmaster is out on the battlefield. And Brewmaster does do good damage with Breath of Fire against these siege engines. And now that the Tree of Life is no longer rooted, well, it does not have fortified armor. There goes that one siege engine there. 
And we're going to perhaps see this siege engine uh, be able to retreat back. So we are now down to two base, two mining bases um, as this tree of life needs to re-entangle the gold mine. All right, rebuilding, rebuilding infrastructure again. Currently sitting at 53 over 30 supply. There's one hunter's hall being left behind here as Meteor is just going around the map trying to figure out ways to get things done. Staff of Sanctuary there as the Brewmaster now retreats back. Knights do, well, do charge pretty quick, so they can do quite a bit of damage. A couple of peasants able to run by there as the Demon Hunter takes down those peasants off to the north. All right, more peasants being brought over here. This is actually going to be a, a perfect time for the Demon Hunter to try and engage against these units. All right, there's going to be some poison, slow poison being applied, or excuse me, some venom poison being applied to these units so that they all get taken down a little bit later. Meanwhile, knights making their way over here to this gold mine that only has a minute of mining left. Here's the Tree of Ages. It's about to get taken down. But instead, a bunch of moon wells being built off to the side as the Dryads are going to try and clear out this 9 o'clock expansion location. All right, Mortar Team is going to make short work of this Tree of Ages. Tree of Ages gets shot down. Are we perhaps going to get some more Wisp detonations? Or, yeah, no, got to get the... Get, no, don't give... Ex oh. Jens not detonating his Wisps gives the Archmage level 6 now able to mass teleport out across the map. Demon Hunter, Staff of Teleportation. Is he going to try? What is he going to do? He's going to try and Staff of Teleport when he was down to 300 hit points. And he's able to teleport back out. Also going in for a Tome of Retraining. Going in for Mana Burn and Evasion. All right. Panda going up against these Rock Golems here. Are we going to tech to a Tree of Ages somewhere else? Yes, Tree of Ages being built down on the bottom right-hand side of the map as the Mortar Team and Siege Engines look to clear out more Moon Wells once again. All right, Druids of the Claw still engaging in battle here. Hunter's Hall left behind here. Town Hall being built at the starting location on the opposite end of the map. Full saturation, so we can see that there is one full mining base by Jens right now while he's starting to saturate the other over there on the top right. Demon Hunter going to try and retreat back. He got a little bit of moon well juice. Some of these wisps are now going to be on the move again. Goblin Shredder really just trying to tear down this forest, get enough lumber, and well keep this party going as another tree of life being established here at the 9 o'clock spot. Tree of Life fighting up against knights and uh, spellbreakers. Um, I, I think the funniest thing would be if we suddenly saw a transition into chimeras and then all of a sudden those knights just absolutely get destroyed. Dryads now making their way off to the north here. Panda, well, is going to find, uh, find a pretty open base. All right, so there's a Breath of Fire. Uh, going to be able to do a, a little bit of damage here. And perhaps with enough Breath of Fire, um, he's going to be able to um, just take down some of these uh, buildings quickly and easily. All right, dual gloves of haste. Um, are we going to see another Breath of Fire against a concentration of building? There it is. And now trying to take down that guard tower was not able to do exactly that. Meanwhile, the corner expansion location has been cleared out. But more importantly, that Goblin Shredder that was providing all of the lumber for Jens is now gone. Jens needs to find another way to get even more. Demon Hunter comes across here, sees a mass teleport inbound um, by that Archmage. Demon Hunter mana burns down that Paladin. Demon Hunter now trying to retreat back, get away once more as we see a farm being built next to this gold mine here. Apparently, Jen's, um, Jen's um, take on a lost temple is if I can get if I can get the gold mine, then um, well, if I can make a base there, then perhaps I can you know win this game economically. So that's all that seems to be happening as Jen's is now going after all of these farms and buildings as well. Is this actually going to turn into a bit of a base race? That is the question. There's not many buildings available, and the fact that. Oh, the Blood Mage and the Spellbreak are actually separated from the rest of the group. All right, so no Blood Mage there. There's Metamorphosis. And now, here's the issue. Without the Blood Mage, there is a no Banish. So the Demon Hunter is actually able to do his full thing. Now, we, we do see that he's also fighting next to a handful of different Moon Wells as well. So he was able to heal up, get damage. We're going to finally see that Banish Siphon Mana continuing to battle it up here. There's that ranged Chaos damage that can be oh so problematic as a Mortar Team tries to, well, clear things out again. All right, a little bit more damage 
Um, well, Holy Light trying to save a knight there. There's a banish onto the mortar team, and then a Holy Light to heal him back up all the way up to full as the Metamorphosis Demon Hunter heads back off to the north. All right, a peasant um, attempting to take down um, that Hunter's Hall will be able to do that. All of this is going to get cleared out here. Level 7 now on the Demon Hunter. The Siege Engine is going to be able to easily finish off these Moon Walls. More Siphon Mana. There's a Breath of Fire, but really not hitting much. And there's Earth Storm and Fire instead to try and separate. Cyclone picking up the Archmage. Archmage currently invulnerable. Not going to be able to mass teleport as the Archmage lands back down. All right, more damage coming back across. Mortar Team splashing down those uh, Dryads again. There goes another Knight. Earth Storm and Fire still fighting strong as the Demon Hunter, well looking to go after some of these targets. The Demon Hunter is actually very low. How is he still fighting after all this time as the Paladin gets in a nice big 300 hit point heal? All right, Demon Hunter needs to perhaps go over to the Fountain of Health. One bear trying to clean things up off to the north here. Jen's trying to entangle another gold mine there. This gold mine is currently mining without problems as the units are now retreating back to that Fountain of Health. Where's Earth Storm? Where was Earth? All right. Tree of uh, Goblin Shredder Siege engines trying to clear out this tree of life before it even really got going. Moonwells are actually upside down right now, unable to train up any additional units. Demon Hunter healing up at the Fountain of Health. And where is that Brewmaster? That is the question. Brewmaster down a clock, down right there. New base being established. This base going to get established here. Panda says, you know what? I got a breath of fire for you and blows over a cup handful of them. Already gets up to level seven. Can start going into drunken brawler perhaps, but really needs to take down those peasants as well. All right, so finishing off these units, adding in a drunken brawler to that panda. Level seven panda could spell problems as another goblin shredder gets taken out. Now, 35 over 50 supply. Lumber no longer the issue. Gold now the lasting problem as gold is limited. All right, mass teleport inbound there. Brewmaster going to be forced to try and retreat. Demon Hunter back up to full. As the knights are now going, or a single knight trying to go after some of these moon wells. As well, we're looking to get to full saturation on this gold mine here. All right, current mining. One peasant mining here. No mining happening here. That peasant was long gone. One drew to the claw hiding off to the north. A couple of knights here as well. Brewmaster dropped the medallion, picked it back up. And now are we going to see a drunken haze breath of fire across those knights here? A little bit of slow poison damage. And uh, what can really go down? Abolish magic, please, onto that water elemental. Yeah, pretty much free experience there as the knights are going to try and knock over and take down some of this here. There's a breath of fire. Paladin could be in some serious trouble. Staff of Sanctuary saving the unit. Paladin now with that divine shield as the demon hunter goes into metamorphosis mode and going to perhaps get in some range chaos damage. Panda now going to get banished himself. He's going to get siphon mana. He's trying to break free and now perhaps get some drunken haze breath of fire across all of these units. There's the drunken haze. There's the breath of fire. Siege engines are now making their way over. Staff of Sanctuary saves one knight, not the other as well. That's just a little bit unfortunate there. M meanwhile, Brewmaster going to come back across. There's Earthstorm and Fire once more activating. Going to go after all of these units again and perhaps try and take down these siege engines as the siege engines are trying to take down these moon wells. One moon well gone, one siege engine gone as we're still more pressuring again. Scythe or well, Cyclone onto the Blood Mage and we're looking at, or well, Fire trying to take things down here. Um, well, no, that is just normal damage as there's still one siege engine left, still putting on pressure. No weapons upgrade though as we see a manor burn onto the paladin paladin unable to do any more real healing as the paladin wants to go after the um, other units all right there's another banish again last siege engine wasn't able to finish off this moonwell moonwell now getting some repairs another staff of sanctuary and this battle is still going on 40 minutes into this game still no clear-cut winner yet 30 supply compared to 38 meteor now with a little bit more gold as both sides continuing to battle it up are we going to see some abolished magic onto that water elemental and uh, mortar teams able to get in a little bit of, of, of damage there there goes another there's a holy light again as the panda currently low on mana as we're um, unable to finish off the Paladin. Paladin now going to be coming on the line here looking pretty strong as he's able to get some more mana siphoned back in again. Brewmaster, Breath of Fire trying to perhaps finally finish off that Mortar Team. Mortar Team just constantly getting healed and and just uh, this constant battle going back and forth. Finally a Staff of Sanctuary saying no, I'm not going to let my Mortar Team go. 
All right, Dryad perhaps can get some slow poison damage. Demon Hunter going after the Paladin. Paladin now banished in the safety, um, well, for his own good so that he cannot take damage from the Demon Hunter. Back across here, well, bears. Um, a, a mining happening here. Staff of Sanctuary. Paladin sent back here, entangling of another gold mine. This gold mine has been reestablished. This gold mine still mining normally. This gold mine, the starting location, finally mining as well as Dryads and the Brewmaster trying to heal up at the Fountain of Health in the center. Demon Hunter uh, coming across here, looking to finish things off. Dryads could have a little bit of a tough time here um, as he's going to go ahead and staff a preservation there. There goes one peasant. Is the Demon Hunter going to get another peasant? He is still going after more targets. Could staff of teleportation out of this position here. And it takes down another peasant before he finally says, going to go ahead and staff of teleport out. Down to 271 hit points. And now able to perhaps join in at the Fountain of Health. Perhaps get in some lasting damage onto that Rifleman as well. As we're looking at the Panda trying to back away. Um, f well, doesn't want this starting location to get, or this base to mine anymore. Oh. Demon Hunter getting rejuvenated at the Fountain of Health. A very fast regeneration right there. Going to be back up to full hit points in no time flat. This gold mine nearly fully saturated. Perhaps more, more gold mines will be established again. More moon wells placed down by Jens. And pretty much Jens is saying there is no real way that you are going to be able to get rid of me every, get every rid of everything everywhere all at once he's just going to have multiple bases all over the place even with the archmage with mass teleport it's it's been difficult to try and get to take down all of the buildings mortar teams now doing a little bit of lob attack gonna take down demon hunter gonna go in and staff of teleportation no brewmaster gonna go ahead and staff of teleportation inbound there's a breath of fire and uh, this mortar team uh, most likely will get finished. One more hit. One more hit. Oh, gets taken out before the mass teleport is able to complete. Demon Hunter now retreating back. Rifleman getting in a couple of quick shots again. I don't know. Will double level 10 break human? That I do not know as Moonwells are just being built literally like in the middle of the road. Um, uh, on this map here as the Demon Hunter is going to try and run in and take down a couple of these peasants again. All right, Orba Venom damage over time. There goes one trying to apply that slow poison d damage over time so that eventually just one shot will kill them. There goes another one. There goes another one. Level 8 now on the Demon Hunter. Uh, level 8 Demon Hunter um, now going to also have level 2 immolation as the Demon Hunter breaks free and says, you know what? D am I going to mass teleport out? That is my question. He's trying to break Break free right now and able to win the foot race. Meanwhile, down to the south here, the brewmaster and the bear are gonna try and take down this um, take down this town hall. It's not going to work. Siphon mana as the brewmaster now low on mana needs to get away. All right, that zeppelin. Um, well, Dryad gonna try and retreat back here. Perhaps hang over at this fountain of health. Um, we're looking at some abolished magic. Um, well, Dryad gonna get shot right by a rifleman coming through the woods. Demon Hunter sitting at level eight. More Moonwell is gonna get building that I can perhaps try and take out as well. Another Hunter's Hall being placed down by Jens. A Tree of Life being placed down by Jens on the top right. 43 minutes into this game and we still have no clear victor yet. 45 supply compared to 58, but Jens is the one still getting large amounts of gold uh, out on the map here as the Tree of Ages of Jens about to get taken out. There goes a farm and well, flying machines do not have the bombard upgrade, but they are able to spot pretty much everywhere that gold is being mined. Demon Hunter going after a couple of, um, well, couple of peasants here and gonna clean things up once more. Tree of Life, Jens' Tree of Life here at the three o'clock starting location. F um, no longer mining any gold. That starting location has run out of gold as well. Where, all right, Mass Teleport. Archmage gonna move over here, try and shut down the Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter gets a mana burn on the Paladin before attempting to outrun and leave. What's going down here? Applying a little bit of damage onto that knight with that orb of venom. Flying machines, however, could shoot down that um, that 
Yeah, could shoot down th that Goblin Zeppelin as the Demon Hunter is looking to get away again. Meanwhile, back off to the north, Panda and, well, continuing to just try and take down buildings. All right, building after building, slowly getting taken out. Peasants trying to head off over here to the top right. And, well, this base is going to get cleaned up. We are now up to a level 6 on the Blood Mage, with which means Phoenix. The Phoenix is going to be a very, very difficult unit to try and take out as it can rehatch so often. And... And short of the Dryads being able to finish it off um, and, and trying to focus it down, that could potentially be, the, be a problem. All right, Mass Teleporting on the move again. And we see, well, the Demon Hunter looking to back up once more. Goblin Shredder, more mining happening here. Jen sitting at 36 over 60 supply. Any unit lost now by by a meteor is a unit that cannot be replaced 53 over 42 supply um but with the paladin and well with the staff of sanctuaries it's been very difficult to actually start uh, picking off units other than uh, oh phoenix egg is going to get taken out here demon hunter going after some more units there's immolation turned on going after a couple of those peasants as well is he going to perhaps try and take down knights with immolation that would be hilarious there's going to be some more siphon mana demon hunter once more on the move all right, Archmage making way, his way over to this Tree of Life. It does not look like this entangled gold mine will be completed. Meanwhile, Panda still off to the north, still slowly, slowly uh, just destroying building after building. As the Demon Hunter um, wants to go after these knights, but knows that it's not going to amount to very much. As soon as one knight is low on hit points, it is simply going to be a staff of sanctuary and, well, healed up again. All right. A bunch of moon wells off over here. Tree of Life upgrading the Tree of Ages. Um, perhaps the Brewmaster can drink from there. An another gold mine here at the 9 o'clock expansion location. This is going to get cleared out. There's another Tree of Life here just training up more and more as the Panda. Is he going to dive in here? Yes, there's a Breath of Fire, and he does find a way to get a little bit of damage in. The Brewmaster now well, tanking all of this damage. There's a Roar. We're at one Arcane Tower going to get taken down. Another Arcane Tower going to get taken down. And finally, this Guard Tower, which will give the Brewmaster level 8. Level 8 Brewmaster, level 8 Demon Hunter going up against level 6 Archmage, level 6 Blood Mage, and a level 5 Paladin. This Tree of Life says, you know what? I can try and root myself off over here again. Demon Hunter still fighting his way through, taking down so many units. And now, well, trying to finish off um, this Town Hall. This Town Hall, 50 over 48 supply. He's teleport. Well, he's, uh, well, cornered himself right here. And he knows, wait, if I corner myself right here, then I am going, I am going to be in a position where, um, well, there, there, yeah, no repairing's going on. All right, so the Demon Hunter may actually be able to take down this town hall, and I believe all of the town halls are now gone. All right, mass teleport. Oh! The Demon Hunter. I did not account for a Phoenix joining in on the fight. Demon Hunter falls at level 8. He's going to need to be resurrected at the tavern. I do not believe there is an altar of elders anywhere. Rifleman has made his way off over here. It's most likely going to be an inbound teleportation point as well. All right, so this town hall needs to train up some more peasants, but it can't do so. Are there any workers? There's no more workers. There are no, no workers for Meteor. So he cannot build a farm. And in order to train up any additional units, mortar teams, riflemen are now trying to make their way out. We can see water elemental pushing across the map here. We are trying to entangle a gold mine off to the north. Jens is still currently mining right now. Somewhere, Demon Hunter resurrected at the tavern. Um, and now, well, going to go ahead and well, visit the Moonwell Spa, get a little bit more mana, and then venture forth once again. Meanwhile, a bear is attempting to take down these buildings over here. 36 over 60 supply. And I think Jens is going to be in a better position to outlast his, his opponent here. As we're looking at this Druid of the Claw trying to retreat back out. All right, couple of easy shots. Going to go ahead and miss. 
We're looking at the Blood Mage down here by itself. Demon Hunter going to try and make its way across. Going to get in some big shots here. There's Metamorphosis, Breath of Fire. There goes the Town Hall. And with that, um, well, with that, a lot of the hopes of trying to rebuild anything. Demon Hunter continuing to put in pressure onto some of these units right now. Earthstorm and Fire could be used. The Blood Mage is by itself. In comes Mass Teleportation. There's Earthstorm and Fire. C Cyclone could have been used perhaps to try and uproot that unit. Disrupt the target. There's a Staff of Sanctuary as the units are now going to go ahead and try and fall back. The Blood Mage is by itself right there. There's Mass Teleport coming back onto the other side. No, that's not Mass Teleport. That's Teleportation. And there's the Abolish Magic onto the Blood Mage, removing the heal from the Staff of Sanctuary as the Demon Hunter now gets up to level 9. All right, that was not Mass Teleport. Um, Earth Storm and Fire continuing to run around Earth should not be in this in this position are we going to see more damage go down there and that is going to be the game jens is victorious meteor unable to well close out this game jens with a much larger score um, mainly because of resources just building and mining gold everywhere on the map let me know what you guys thought about this fun game here on Lost Temple.